What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode on the channel. Today we're unboxing Six Sense. I put together a nice little order and we're checking out some of their new terminal stuff. And it's all in here, so we're gonna get to that in a second. Before we do, if you like the content, unboxing, reviews, fishing videos, we do it all here on the channel, so consider subscribing. Smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell, and come hang out when we go live almost every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there. Talk to you in chat. Let's see what's inside. Oh, baby, there's some good stuff in here, you guys. I'm excited for this. So right off the top, you get a nice little six sticker. These are always cool. I'm gonna throw that somewhere eventually. I waited way too long to unbox this thing. I actually got it delivered maybe a week ago. So I'm trying to remember what all these baits are. Uh, I think some of these are clearance and the others are things I've been holding out on or just got put back in stock. So first up, we got a Crush 50X square bill. I love just having like a bunch of these on deck. This is a really good size for the Midwest, uh, especially where I fish in Michigan. And this one, non-silent model, kind of like those hard knocks a little bit. So it looks like we got some chartreuse, some like orange, brownish up on top. Very interesting color pattern. Got a little blue around the eye there as well. That looks good. Yeah, and all around just a great size square bill to be thrown around in my neck of the woods. These things tend to work, especially on my rivers and lakes. So when I find structure or shallow weed cover, I'm gonna be throwing this thing around that area. I like the knock to it. This color is called chartreuse spank, <laughs> which is very interesting, but I'm digging it. Digging that color, digging the knock. Always love the hooks that these come stock with. Uh, I know that that bait is gonna bang. I know it's gonna be good. Next up, we're stocking up on these babies. These are the hybrid swim cranks. Picked out two colors that I liked. I actually have an additional one in my tackle already. I really like these because as the name implies, it's a hybrid swim crank. So it's a swim bait that actually has a lip to it. This color right here of this first one is Jaint Juice, which is one of my favorite colors that Six actually puts out there. It's kind of like this like off-white chartreuse type color with some like purple, almost lavender, like a real light purple, real light chartreuse. And I dig that. I think it looks really good. I think it mimics a lot of the bait fish around here. So I think it just absolutely will freaking work. Throwing these things pretty shallow. They dive about two to three feet. You can see that's a very light lip that you have connected there. Heavy duty split ring on the front. Look at those red eyes. Look at that. That's hot. That's hot. Same stock trebles there. And then you get a nice tied one with some streamer material off the back as well. So it's got some nice flash to it. Good action with that single joint there. Just looks juicy. Gonna perform well. Caught a decent amount of fish on these before when I was testing them out. Back when I was getting the six cent sack, I picked up a few of these. However, didn't have one in black magic. This is probably my favorite color that six puts out. Look at the eyes. And that's like half the reason why is the eyes. That green, it's just so good. So if you're throwing this in like more stain to murky water, I really like throwing these around. And this is something that I could be throwing in the rivers as well. And you even get the black tied material off the back. Oh my gosh. So good. That is just a beautiful color, beautiful setup. And again, I love the action on these things. A little single joint off the back looks so good. So I can see us hooking up on this, especially with the home lake that I live on now. Like I have two private lakes I've got access to. I was smacking pike the other day. I think this would be a good pike hunter. So we're going to get some toothy critters on this, I believe. I still haven't had enough time to really explore it. I explored like half of one of the lakes the other day. So I still gotta get to the back half of that. And then I've got the other private lake, which is a little bit smaller to dig into. I still owe you guys a video. I'm gonna show you like the new setup, the new digs at the new house and what we're dealing with. How it makes my life a little bit easier when it comes to filming content and going fishing. So I'm excited to share that all with you. We'll drop a video soon, but there we go. That black magic hybrid swim crank. These are fantastic. Also, just so you know, they're hundred millimeters long and they're five eighths of an ounce. Again, diving shallow, like two to three feet. This next one I'm excited about because these walking baits are phenomenal. This one's like the middle size. So it's the dogma. They also have a catwalk, which is smaller than this. This one's 115 millimeters. It's three quarters of an ounce and the Mad Dog, I showed you guys in an unboxing a little while back. The Mad Dog is gigantic. It's 130 millimeters. So there's like a 15 millimeter difference between the sizes, but here we go. This color is French Bone Pearl. 
So it's uh, 115 millimeters, decent size walking bait. Pretty loud, got a good thud, good knock to it. And you got three trebles going along the bottom. These walking baits that Six makes are pretty absurd, like how they walk. Six Sense has really nailed this. So it's got like just this light scoop here underneath the chin of this bait, which really helps it just walk through the water. So this is one of the easiest baits to walk you've ever seen. Uh, you don't have to be an expert at walking baits to nail this one, which is what makes me excited because I'm not an expert at anything fishing. Just uh, you know, a guy trying to figure things out and catch a lot of fish. But this is a sick bait. I'm excited to throw this. I think it's gonna be rad. Okay, last one before we get to the terminal stuff. I am pumped about this because it's the Axis 2.0. I just picked up the Axis 1.0 in a blue go color. Paul actually picked it up for me, co-host of the Burley Fishing Podcast. Go like and subscribe. Uh, and I wanted more, obviously. So this is a 2.0 model. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit different. Let's see. Okay, so at first glance, they don't look too different, but here's some of the main stuff that I'm noticing. One, they overhauled the snap ring. So look at that. That one compared to this one, right? This is a much lighter wire snap ring. It's also a little bit longer than this one. So I feel like this ring is gonna hold up a lot better, but this one's definitely overhauled. What I did have the other day on the lake, when I was fishing, I was throwing this thing around, this little snap ring uh, got stuck open. It actually bent out a little bit after catching a few fish. So, I mean, I could see that as having been a problem if you had the Axis 1.0 before. The other big thing I'm noticing is that if you look at the mouth of this bait right there, there's no like reinforcement on the metal lip okay and that lip does move i'll talk about why here in a second so it is going to be moving like that throughout the water it's what six calls the erratic hunting action the eha just so you know and on this new model i can see right here there's a little metal reinforcement section there so that's awesome uh that would that would tell me maybe this lip moves a little bit better maybe it's going to last a bit longer i'm not sure but i'm digging it also, by the way, this color is black and blue craw, and I dig it, just that black color. Nice blue highlights, a little blue highlight on the belly as well. Uh, I think I was gonna get black magic, but maybe they were out of stock. So what you'll notice with these is that they do go out of stock a bit. So if you get an alert, like get on Six Sense's email list so that you can get an alert, so you can jump on it when they do go back into stock, trust me. So there we go, that's the black and blue craw and the Axis 2.0. I gotta say, you ain't gonna be mad if you pick these up. I love these things. They do have this really unique erratic action, which is more realistic to some of the bait fish that your predatory fish in the water, like bass and pike and such, are hunting for. So you might wanna throw these things around. They dive about two to five feet, nothing too deep there. A subtle knock to it, I like it. One of my favorite baits right now to be throwing, actually. And I think that's a big upgrade from that 1.0 model. Definitely see the point of getting that one. Cool, let's talk terminal. I actually say this for the end of the video because I picked up the Six Cents hook pack. This pack is full of pretty much all the hooks that Six Cents sells. So I figured why not stock up on some hooks. You're gonna need them. Hooks help you catch fish. So I decided why not fill up the terminal box with some Six Cents products and uh, at the same time be reviewing them. Let's test out these hooks. Let's see if they stack up compared to some of the other stuff that we use. But before I open that bag, I actually picked up this too. So they recently dropped the Carolina pre-rig set. And if you guys haven't done Carolina rigging before, you should, it's really good like this time of year. I mean, pretty much all year, something that you can use. So just think Texas rigging, but your plastic, which you should use a more buoyant one. Uh, usually people throw like a lizard or a six cents has like the hog walla. And of course you can throw really like worms or anything else that you want that's artificial bait plastics. So versus a Texas, it's not attached like right where that weight is at the end of your line. With a Carolina rig, you're gonna have this weight and then you're gonna attach more line coming off the back. Usually something like monofilament line so that it floats a little bit and you use a more buoyant plastic. So think of this weight hitting the bottom and then your line is kind of floating up with your plastic and that plastic's just gonna drift and that can really draw fish in to get that bite. The Carolina rig setup, typically gonna have like your first swivel, then you're gonna have your big weight, then you're gonna have some sort of clacker set up. So it looks like with six cents, we got two beads and a little metal piece in there between, which makes our clacker. 
So it's gonna make a bit of sound when it hits on the bottom. And then when you lift and let the bait drop again, it's gonna be clacking every single time. So again, trying to draw fish in to scope out this plastic that's just kind of hanging out, not really doing much. Think like drop shotting, a little bit of finesse, right? This is a power finesse technique almost. So this right here, unfortunately for me, is a one ounce. Like it's the only one they had in stock and I just wanted to see it, try it out. I normally wouldn't be throwing a one ouncer, but this could be good in deeper water situations. On windy days, it's gonna be good. And then if we're getting through like some heavier cover, we could potentially throw this as well. I figured why not, I just wanna try it. I'm more of a subtly aggressive, power finesse kind of guy anyways, so maybe I can work a one ounce or just fine. What I love about this, check this out, that bead fits like perfectly into the molded shape that they put into their one ounce weight there, so that's cool. The other thing I like about this is I've used like the Strike King pre-rigs and they use an actual firm wire in the middle, whereas these guys are using something a bit more flexible. I dig that, that's awesome. So it's pretty clean, I like it. I think definitely worth it. If you guys are looking into Carolina rigging and you don't wanna tie off a whole bunch of lines and swivels yourself, this, you just tie it to your main line right there. And then down here, you just run a little bit of a leader. Uh, I think typically like six to 18 inches, depending on how far you want that plastic to be up off the bottom. There we go. Sweet little setup, I like it. All right, terminal tackle main event. We got a bag of hooks here. And there's quite a few hooks in here. Let's check this out. There you go. This is how many hooks you get when you order this kit. Uh, I think it's kind of like a sampler of like all the stuff that they have. So we've got spinnerbait hooks. Love throwing me some trailer hooks. These are in a three aught. And I like how with six cents, you get five, first of all, but they have that little surgical tubing already over the eye of the hook. So you just thread that onto your spinnerbait. And when you thread it this way, that hook is gonna stay in line with the lure, which is just better shot for hooking up, I would say. I like that. So these are nice. I've used them in the past, I dig it. We got flipping hooks. These things are fantastic. Uh, the difference between a good and a bad flipping hook for me, number one, are they sharp? Do they stay sharp longer? I've used Six Sense for a while now, and I think that these stay sharp pretty good. The other thing is, where are we keeping the bait. So there's our bait keeper hook there. And then right above this section here is a nice easy spot to tie off your snell knot. So I dig it. I think it's going to work real well. So it's a nice stout hook, great for flipping heavy cover. And I kind of like how this hook almost sweeps back in a little bit, making it easier. Typically with flipping hooks, you're going to just bury the hook in the plastic versus texposing it. So you have the hook come out of the plastic and then kind of like skin hook it back in. You're just gonna bury it right in, but this could make it easier just to stay in line when you're flipping that cover. So I like that. All right, so we got a pack of three aughts, a pack of four aughts, and a pack of five aughts. So three different sizes for all those flipping hooks. That's awesome. Next up, we have three sizes of the jugular. This is their offset worm hook. So we got a three aught, four aught, five aught of these. So again, just another nice hook set up there. I mean, it's a hook. There's not a ton I can really say about it, but they are sharp. They do stay sharp. Oh my gosh, super sharp. And got a nice line tie set up. So I think they're well-made hooks. Then we got three packs of the EWGs. So these ones are called their stout wide gap hooks. Take a look here at the four aught. Again, you get a three aught, four aught, five aught in these. Solid looking EWG, I dig it. Think it's gonna do some work. We're gonna Texas rig, we're gonna Carolina rig with that. Probably the hooks that I'll use the most. And I've just accrued like a ton of hooks at this point from just various companies, having you know gotten tons and tons of these fishing subscription boxes uh, or picked them up here and there from the store. So I kind of have just like this hodgepodge, if you will, of different hooks in my terminal box. So I'm just gonna dump the whole dang thing out and just fill it with these. So I'm literally only gonna use these for a while, just cause it'll keep the whole box a lot more clean and easier to dig through. All right, next up, we got some wacky hooks in a number one and a one-aught size. So let's look at these number ones. It's gonna be your smaller size. Again, you get five. We're looking at just a very small, very light wire here. Look at that thing. Oh, that's, that's a beauty. This thing I can see using a lot as well, especially in the summer. So my downsize worms, trick worms, throwing them on a one aught, like that's just money. Can't wait to put those to work around docks. Finally, I was looking for some new drop shot hooks. 
Uh, we've been using like the standout drop shot hook a lot. Paul had like a weird situation where one bent out on like a half pounder, which was really weird. So we we're in the market looking to try some different things. We tried like the Eagle Claw EWGs and those are solid as well. Uh, but obviously I wanted to try out the six cents ones. So let's take a look at these. Drop you and lose you forever. Let's not do that. Digging the shape of these. So you get one pack in the number one size, which to me is like a great size, maybe the perfect size when it comes to drop shotting is a finesse technique. So lighter wire hooks would be the go-to, but look at that. I love the shape of this hook, very unique. I think you can still, almost like a flipping hook, kind of like run your plastic this way, bury that hook in there so you could go weedless with this. But most of the time when I drop shot, I don't need to. Uh, so there's our line tie. Nice little bend to it. I think this will also help you keep fish pinned once you do get one on. And you can see there's a little bit of an angle to that hook as well. Check that out. It's a lot of hooks. So if you guys want to check this out, they do have deals on these bags as well, but you can get the entire hook set up right there in one of those bags for I believe $39.99. It's a lot of hooks. Like imagine just going, picking up like a whole bunch of gamakatsus or something. I mean, you're spending five, six, seven bucks per pack of hooks. Seems like a pretty good deal. So again, we had three packs of the jugulars. We had three packs of the wide gap hooks. We had three packs of the flipping hooks. So that's nine packs of hooks there, all of which have five in each. We had two packs of the wacky rig hooks, one pack of the drop shots, and one pack of the spinnerbait trailer hooks and a partridge and a pear tree. So in total, what we're looking at is 13 packs of hooks, all of which have five in them. So in total, we're looking at 65 hooks. It's a lot of heckin' hooks. A lot of sharp objects for me to stab myself with, but it'll help me, like I said, kind of empty out, replace, clean up that terminal box, which has me super excited. So in this order, we picked up 13 packs of hooks with that hook kit. Picked up the Dogma, sick topwater walking bait. Those 50X crankbaits, I think this one was on clearance in that chartreuse spank color. Two hybrid swim cranks in the Jaint Juice and in Black Magic, one of my favorite colors of all time. We got the new Axis 2.0. That thing is looking juicy as all heck in that black and blue craw. And finally, we got that Carolina rig, which we're gonna try out this summer. I'm super excited for this. I'm excited for all these baits. I always am. Like every time I place an order with Six Sense, I'm pleasantly surprised. So if you guys want to check them out, go to sixcentsfishing.com. Take a look, see lots of cool baits on there. Grab stuff while it's in stock if you can. Hopefully this video was enjoyable for you and hopefully it was helpful if you're on the market for more tackle. And I mean, who isn't? It's a never ending thing that we just do as fishermen and women. It's absurd. And uh, that's where all our money goes. So anyways, hopefully you uh, enjoy your shopping as well. But if you guys did like the video, be sure to subscribe, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content and come hang out with us Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. We go live right here on YouTube. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Thank you so much for watching today, you guys. Hopefully you're having a great day and we'll see you on the next video.